Hello and welcome to part 4 of the tutorial. For today's tutorial you're going to need a multimeter, the transformer you extracted, the current construction, solder, soldering iron, a battery or two, and a whole heap of wire. To begin you're going to need the transformer and your multimeter. Basically what we're trying to do here is identify two separate sets of coils inside the transformer. In this case we've already identified them as these two. You should now go ahead and solder four of your longest wires onto these pins. Once you have soldered all four coil wires you'll also need to solder a highly insulated wire to this high voltage pin. You now need to solder one of the sets of wires so that one of the wires connects to the base of the transistor and the other one goes directly to the middle of the two resistors. Now you need to set it up so that your high voltage goes directly next to the other high voltage so the two will arc when there is a sufficiently set up device. Unfortunately this next bit is somewhat trial and error. You need to connect one of the other coil wires up so that it's connected to the far side of the approximately 200 ohm resistor. We test it by connecting this side to the collector and then plugging the other side of the coil wire onto our battery to power it. Chances are it's not going to work first time around. To solve this you unsolder these two and swap them. If that doesn't work, unsolder the other two coil wires and swap them and repeat the process. After you have a spark, you can vinylize your setup. Please do not run it for very long and wait for the next tutorial for the rest. If you have liked my videos, please feel free to subscribe.